Hello, and welcome to Life in Runes, the weekly rune reading. I'm Lila, the unique Alan. Let's just jump right in today on this gorgeous day with much to do. So, we're going to take a few minutes in this busy day. Settle into our seats or our stance, our favorite position. Inhale and exhale. Gonna shake it all out. And inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose, following the breath in and down, feeling everything expand and relax. And exhale gently through the mouth, blowing out all those little hidden pockets of tension, all the stuff we no longer need. One more time, inhale. And exhale, bringing your attention to this time and this place. And as your body continues to breathe in the most comfortable fashion, let us see what we need to know for this coming week. The runes for this week are I Was Reversed and Hagalaz. I Was Reversed. I Was is the rune of the hunter, the rune of uh, standing between two worlds, of bridging two worlds, which would indicate that for the coming week, there's a few ways to look at this question. Is there a bridge that has not been built? Is that why the situation is the way it is? Because it needs to have a bridge and there isn't one that connects two disparate worlds, two, say, different languages or um, uh, business versus spiritual. Is there a bridge that needs to be built? Is there a situation that's asking you to be the bridge, to uh, cover all these worlds, to be the middleman, as it were, and it, you don't really want to do it, or you do, but is it asking you to step in? Now, the no, it being reversed, might indicate that this is a time to say no. And remember that it is your truth, so you get to say whatever is right for you. Because if we do a job and resent it the whole time, we're not going to put our best into it. We are going to avoid it as much as possible. Um, the other question would be perhaps, is there a bridge somewhere, a connection, that doesn't need to be? Is the situation too complicated? Have too many parts, too many people speaking to each other perhaps? Um, and instead, could everybody could stand to be isolated and do their own work before coming together and making it a teamwork. Like a choir, for example. It is good for everybody to learn their own part separately, for most of us, before coming together and learning how it sounds as a group because we want to make sure that we know how we're supposed to reach the notes and what we're aiming for before we try it with three or four other people. 
We can't always learn like that, but many of us do. For most of us, that it is beneficial to do our separate work before bringing it in to be bogged down by all the stuff that's going on with all the people. So, I was, three different questions, three or four. Does it need a bridge, which actually is two. It could not have one and need one. It could have one and not need one. There could be too many connections. And it would be better at this time for things to be separate and each do their own path before getting back together again. Are you being asked to be a bridge in a place that you don't want to be? Or in a place that would be better at this time to say no? The other rune for this week is the Hagalaz rune. Hagalaz is the rune of the storm of transformation. Um, and it's a rune we're all probably pretty familiar with from the past few years. Hagalaz obviously would say that there's going to come another storm. Weather, it's talking actual physical weather. Um, because I guess there's been a lot of upheaval all over the world. Earthquakes and tornadoes and hailstorms and all sorts of weird stuff. Well, we say weird, but sudden, unexpected, and traumatic um, weather changes that have shaken things up, cleared things out, done another, as it were, resettling. Um, so perhaps this storm is on the actual physical realm. Or perhaps it is, again, within our own personal lives, another change that's going to happen. Um, whether it's a new job or deciding to change your diet or change clothes or something. Anytime change happens suddenly, it can be traumatic because we make the change, but we feel like something has been left behind, which is has. The things that no longer serve us are left behind. Um, so, whatever the storm in your life, take a moment to both celebrate and grieve, to acknowledge what has been lost and what is being gained by this change. Um, you might even acknowledge whether it's a big outside force or a personal choice um, because that helps kind of create the responsibility as opposed to that helpless feeling of laying blame elsewhere. So these two are separate. So they could be two separate events in your life or they could connect one with the other. I was reversed. If you decide you no longer want to be the bridge or decide that things are good to work separately for a while, that is a major change. It could lead to an either bigger change. Storms are not always negative. Storms are rarely negative. They can seem that way because it is a big event that we have no control over or it feels like that. But any change can be a storm, like I said. Um, and even the good ones can be traumatic because we know we're supposed to be happy and excited about it, but we have still left something behind. So, do we need bridges? Are there some where there shouldn't be at this time? Are there none where there could be some at this time? Do we desire to be one of those bridges? It might be a good time to say no and or connected with. Another change is coming up, small, big, a storm of some type that will create some trauma in your life, in our lives. So just remember the deep breath. Remember the personal truths. Remember that you are only responsible for your stuff and the rest we just let go. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day, week and a great day. We're great.